Greetings, this is Robin Walker, the Black History Man. I'm about to lead another workshop on history aimed at you, the adults. I'm speaking on ancient Nigerian civilizations. Now, why is this important? Very often we speak about ancient Egypt, we speak about the slave trade, but do we really touch West Africa? Do we really get to know that history and heritage? This is important information, it's new information, and we're going to be talking about information that will enable you to, for example, go to the British Museum, see the artefacts and be able to interpret and understand why they're important. I'm also going to link the history to wealth building principles. Did you know these 10 things about the Nigeria region? Number one, in central Nigeria, West Africa's oldest civilization, flourished between 1000 BC and 300 BC. It was discovered in 1928, and the scholars call it the Nok civilization, named after the village where the artifacts were discovered. Number two, an English official called Lord Lugard estimated in 1904 that there were 170 walled towns still in existence in the whole of the Kano province alone of Nigeria. He didn't mention the other provinces. So essentially we have a whole culture that used to exist of walled towns and cities. Number three, the Nigerian city of Ile Ife was paved in 1000 AD on the orders of a female ruler with decorations that originated in ancient America. Naturally, no one wants to explain how this took place approximately 500 years before the time of Christopher Columbus. Number four, one of the great achievements of the Yoruba was their urban culture. By the year AD 1300, says a modern scholar, the Yoruba built numerous walled cities surrounded by farms. Number five, Yoruba metal art of the medieval period was of world class. One scholar wrote that Yoruba art, and I'm quoting now, would stand comparison with anything which ancient Egypt, classical Greece and Rome, or Renaissance Europe had to offer. Number six, many old West African families have private library collections that go back hundreds of years. In northern Nigeria, there are about 250,000 surviving medieval books. Number seven, the medieval Nigerian city of Benin was built to a scale comparable with the Great Wall of China. There was a vast system of defensive walling totaling 10,000 miles in all. Even before the full extent of the city walling had become apparent, the Guinness Book of Records carried a 1974 entry that described the city as, quote, the largest earthworks in the world carried out prior to the mechanical era. Number eight. Benin art of the Middle Ages was of the highest quality. An official of the Berlin Museum for Volker Kunda once described that, these works from Benin are equal to the very finest examples of European casting technique. Benvenuto Cellini could not have cast them better, nor could anyone else before or after him. Technically, these bronzes represent the very highest possible achievement. Number nine. In the mid-19th century, William Clark, an English visitor to Nigeria, remarked that, as good an article of cloth can be woven by the Yoruba weavers as by any people, in durability, their cloths far excel the prints and homespuns of Manchester. Number 10. The recent discovery of the 9th century Nigerian city of Erido was found to be surrounded by a wall 100 miles long and 70 feet high in places. The internal area of the city was a staggering 400 square miles. So what's the next step? A colleague and I are hosting a workshop where we want to share these kinds of ideas with the community. Our next session is on Tuesday evening, the 19th of June, at the Bridge Park Centre in North West London. If this interests you, click on the link below and go to Eventbrite for tickets. The lecture is actually called Assets or Net Worth. These are motivational concepts used by the early civilizations of the Nigeria region, Nok, Ibo, Yoruba, Benin, and Nupe. These civilizations created assets, each of which today are worth tens of thousands of pounds, up to many millions of pounds. 
These assets contribute to building an individual's net worth. My job is to make sure that you learn about these brilliant and enterprising Africans and be inspired by them. So who would I like to see at this workshop? Beginners interested in learning black or African history but do not know where to start. Adults interested in personal development and what that leads to, wealth building and entrepreneurship. And anybody else interested in West African history or even specialists interested in the history of the Nigeria region. If this interests you, click on the link below to go to Eventbrite for tickets. See you there on Tuesday, the 19th of June.